The next thing I want to show you is reverb. Okay. So again, you can give individual reverb to individual instruments, and then you can also give reverb to your entire mix. I'm just going to stick with guitar because it plays constantly and come over here. And we're going to click on reverb. There are several different reverb um, workspaces, convolution, full reverb, studio reverb, and surround reverb. Feel free to open up all of these. They're all a little bit different, okay? But I'm just gonna open you, I'm gonna show us Studio Reaver because this is the simplest and the easiest way to kind of introduce these concepts. So reverb is built from different aspects of sound, okay? So you can actually design your own reverb and you design your own reverb by manipulating certain characteristics of the sound. And these are it right here, okay? You have how early it decays, where the early reflections come from, the width of the reverb, where it cuts frequencies high and low, where it dampens and where it diffuses. And then the two most basic concepts of reverb are the dry and the wet. The dry is the original sound and the wet is the reverb itself, okay? So let's just kind of explore this a little bit. So we're in the guitar, uh, let me... Now we can come in here and there are presets and I highly recommend just using presets. Um, so we're gonna do Great Hall. Let's listen to this. I'm gonna... So did you, did you guys see how I turned up the wet and you suddenly get a lot more reverb? Right there, I turned down the dry, which means I've actually like turned down the original sound completely. So all we're hearing is the synthesized reverb. So building reverb from scratch is extremely complex. I don't recommend it. What I do recommend is cutting one of the presets. And then if you want to make adjustments, just mess around with dry and wet. You're welcome to do whatever you want, of course. But this is a fun way to kind of just begin exploring reverb is using a preset and then just controlling how much original sound comes through and then how much actual reverb is there. And those are two really easy settings things to mess with and start to create something that you like without getting really, really intense. Let me just show you uh, very quickly, though, a few of the others. So when you click on reverb, again, there's multiple choices. Convolution reverb, this just has different settings, but it doesn't have the wet and dry. Again, it has, <laughs> it has these presets. A judge's chamber. That's apparently what a judge's chamber sounds like. Um, full reverb. Again, there's your room settings, including a chamber pot. Let's hear what a chamber pot sounds like. Okay. I like the studio reverb because I like that I can control dry and wet. And that's why I recommend it to you because again, it's, it's two settings that are really easy to work with without getting 
really involved in all the different individual aspects of creating a reverb sound. Um, and then surround reverb. And this is this is like this is like movie type reverb. This is kind of fun though too. This one has the room size in it, and so you can change the room size. It's it's interesting to mess around with. But I recommend the studio reverb. That's like the easiest one to kind of mess around with in this setting, since you guys are really really new to it. Okay, so again, I can just apply that to the guitar, and then of course I can go back in if I go down to my mix down. Make sure before you go into your mix downs, you have the things muted that you want muted, so it actually mixes down what you want. Okay, so that's how we can add some reverb. And basically, all of you are going to have to add some level of reverb because reverb creates all of your tracks. It brings everything together. Right now, especially those who are multi tracking, we kind of hear these disparate sounds and they're well recorded and they're well performed. But now we have to kind of sculpt that sound. And so we do that with EQ and reverb. Those are the two things that we're going to kind of mess with in, in, in this project.